Hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button join the growing family turn notifications on so you never miss an upload and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Now this video is I'm not gonna lie triggering for me to talk about it's something I want to talk about because it's the same for so many other people and I really want to raise awareness so I'm doing this for you guys so yeah I used to be a revolving door patient <laughs> what that means is I was in hospital a lot I can't count the amount of times I was in, well, I was taken to hospital by police. The worst it was for me was when I lived in Kingston over a period of two years. I had police around my flat pretty much every night when I lived on my own in Kingston. But I was taken to A&E by police a lot to a point where the Kingston A&E staff knew me by name. As a revolving door patient I often ended up on section 5-2. I was then detained under a section 2 of the Mental Health Act, but I was in a lot. It's something that I had never really recovered from. The amount of time that I lost to being in A&E is ridiculous. I was in and out of psych wards pretty much every week, but I kept getting admitted to hospital. I kind of became obsessed with being in hospital because my BPD was building attachments to people and I liked being cared for and on the whole it just it was a really sad time in my life because I relied on admissions to keep me alive but also because I needed that human connection but being a revolving door patient was a hard thing to live up to I had people on Twitter saying oh you're a revolving door patient I had police say you're a revolving door patient and yeah I was but I still needed the support. I was still suicidal, I was still overdosing, I was still trying to strangle myself. So it's not like I was, wasn't was ill at the same time. I was ill with my BPD. My borderline personality disorder is really what got me into the swing of being a revolving door patient. At the time it didn't feel like I was a revolving door patient because I was I was struggling. It all felt legitimate. But really a lot of it was because of attachments. Thanks BPD. If you think you're a revolving door patient, let me tell you, just because you're a revolving door patient doesn't mean your struggles aren't legitimate. We all have... Well, most people who watch my channel have a mental illness. And I want to say that it's valid. Even if you're in A&E every day, you're, you are worthy of support if you're struggling. And it's easy to form attachments to people. That shouldn't become your identity. You have an illness, you're not your illness. And sometimes that takes over your life. Thank you for watching and like I said at the start, if you are new, hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment of something, I don't know what. Your thoughts, opinions requests, questions, all welcome in the comments section. Peace.